hundreds of thousands of North Texans watched as morning clouds parted and for about four dazzling minutes, the moon blocked out the sun. Crowds that gathered to experience today's full solar eclipse gasped and cheered at times cheered loudly. Solar flares were visible to the naked eye. The temperature dropped. It was fascinating. And briefly in the middle of the afternoon, it turned into nighttime. Fox 4's Amelia Jones had experienced it all in Dallas today, a once in a lifetime treat. Amelia. Hey, Steve, I think many of us are still processing the wonder that we witnessed today. It was an incredible moment to see the clouds part and the total solar eclipse appear. For many people, this was, this was the first time they've ever witnessed anything like this, and it was hard for them to put it into words. After all the anticipation and preparation, Monday afternoon, all eyes were on the sky. Okay, a few minutes left. You see how gray everything's looking? We're getting close. The total solar eclipse began around 1.40 p.m. in Dallas and lasted around four minutes. As the city went dark, 7,000 people watched from the Perot Museum in downtown Dallas. <laughs> Those cheers were magnified at Clyde Warren Park, where a crowd of about 20,000 took it all in. The darkness triggered automatic lights in office buildings and street lamps to turn on as if it was night. The weather turned out not to be a problem. Most eclipse watchers in the path of totality in North Texas had a clear view of the once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. It's safe to take the glasses off. After those few minutes, people were still soaking in what they witnessed. It was amazing, but also a bit scary and also a bit surprising. An experience Tessa Wolf won't soon forget when she gets home to Oakland, California. I told her we'll never see this kind of thing again. We'll never see the moon all the way covering the sun ever again, probably. So it was really special. Others made a short drive just in time for totality. I just wanted to for them to be able to experience this because I, I don't know when is that we are going to be able to see something like this again. So I think it's totally worth it. Further south in Ennis, the crowd experienced the longest totality in our area at 4 minutes and 23 seconds. The city's location on the path of totality attracted visitors from all over the world, including Jeremy Samuel from Australia. It's actually kind of hard to describe. It was this silent moment of awe, and it was beautiful. A day thousands came together to experience a moment no one will forget. This was amazing. It was really amazing. We saw several people get emotional during those minutes of totality. It was also a special moment for many families in our area, whether they experienced it together at their child's school, like Fox 4's Lori Brown, or they traveled here together to watch it. The next time a total solar eclipse will appear in North America is in about 20 years. So if you missed this one, well, you have plenty of time to start planning your trip. <laughs> Steve, back yes, to you. Yes, you do. And if you saw it today, you'll want to chase some eclipses. I think it was amazing. Thank you, Amelia.